Campbell 14-89 from Hibbler's book, um, 13th edition. Um, the example here belongs to lecture 12, um, specifically example 6 in page 18. So here we're going to deal with a case for a box moving down a ramp and going down in a rectilinear fashion and afterwards it's going to move a bit in, 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 in a curvilinear way and it's going to leave uh, uh, the ramp flying off the ramp at point B. And finally, moving in a projectile-like fashion before falling down on the cart here. What is required here is to calculate for the angle at which the box leaves the ramp, the angle, theta. And also, what is required is to calculate for the S, the horizontal distance from the location of leaving off the ramp to the location of the cart. So we're going to make things here a bit clearer for us. We're going to make things a bit uh, clearer in a way that we can calculate for angles from um, 90 degrees triangles. So first I'm going to draw on a vertical line extending from this point and touching this and this horizontal line from the center of the mass of the moving box from here uh, to here so this angle now we got now an angle we got now an angle uh, of 90 degrees and we can now say okay we can make things here a, a, a bit more specific for us so the entire angle here is 90 degrees so the entire angle from here uh, with, uh, between this line and this line is 90 and this is 20 so this angle must be 70 and this angle of course is going to equal to 20 degrees we can say that the angle at which the box leaves the ramp at point B with respect to a vertical line equals to a specific angle equals to phi. So the entire angle here equals to phi. And for convenience we can say phi equals to 20 plus theta. Right? Uh, so the, to, to calculate for the velocity at B we can get some advantage from the relationship between the potential energy and the kinetic energy. The potential energy is related to the, the distance, the vertical distance from the box at A to the ground and from point B when the box reach, reaches point B when its potential energy decreases from point B to the ground again. So again, I'm going to draw another vertical line from here to, to, to the box. And we can say, okay, this vertical line, because you can look here at the, at the, at the Z here, and then you can say, okay, this angle equals to 20 degrees. You can notice here. And we can say quite easily, knowing that this line equals to 1.2 meters, we can say this equals to 1.2 cosine 20. Right? For this case also, I'm going to draw another line, another vertical line, making a relate, taking advantage of this triangle. And from the Z letter here, you can say you can notice you can notice that this angle is all equals to phi and this line equals to 1.2 cosine phi so we can now start from the relationship between the kinetic energy and the potential energy and we can say okay um, ta plus va equals to Tb plus Bb, 
This is the kinetic energy at A, the potential energy at A, the kinetic energy at B, the potential energy at B. We can write down things here, half mda squared plus mgya equals to half mvb squared plus mgyb. We can get rid of the mass here, so we can remove the mass and make things irrespective of the mass. And we can substitute the values that we have. We can say, okay, we have um, the velocity here at A was 2 meters per second, so I'm going to substitute this. Um, half 2 squared plus 9.81 times 1.2 cosine 20. And this equals to half VB squared plus 9.81 um, times 1.2 cosine pi. So we can solve this and rearrange things for ourselves and come up with this relationship. We can say 13.1 equals to 0.5 BB squared plus 11.77 cosine 5. So you can see here the, the velocity at B and the 5 are conveniently in one equation. But we need another equation because we got uh, two unknowns here. So again, we can get back to the Newton's law that describes uh, the forces that act on the box at B. So I can bring for you um, another an uh, the, the diagram here just to make sh to make things a bit clearer for you. So I'm going to draw the box here um, and say, okay, this is the, the weight. I say okay, this is W sine. So this angle, uh, don't forget that this angle equals to phi. So and this should equal to W W sine phi, and this equals to W cosine uh, phi. And this equals to the normal force, the normal force between the surface and the box. And that's it. But this is curvilinear line. This is a curvilinear motion. So we can get advantage of the normal tangential, the normal tangential coordinate system. So we have here plus 9 and we have here plus t, the t axis and the normal axis. And for the summation of all forces in the normal direction equal to m times am, and we can say, okay, we have w cosine phi minus the normal force equals to the mass times the, the acceleration in the normal direction equals to the, at b, of course, we can say, okay, it equals to vb squared over rho. The rho here equals to 1.2. 1.2 when the the box leaves the ramp when the box leaves the ramp at b the normal force doesn't anymore exist it doesn't exist anymore because there's no contact now so we can get rid of the normal force when it leaves the ramp, uh, the, the surface so mg cosine phi equals to m v b squared over 1.2 we can re rearrange everything here, get rid of the mass, and so forth, and come in the end with this con convenient equation that equals to cosine phi equal to 0 0.085 bb squared. This is the second equation. The second equation. So solving this equation, solving this equation with the previous equation together can very easily yield. Uh, velocity at B to, to be equal to 2.95 meter per second and um, the, the phi to be equal to 42.3 degrees. That's it. That's it.
and of course from the relationship between the phi and the theta which was in the area described as 20 plus theta uh, this can give us very easily and directly the theta to be equal to 20 20 point, 22 I'm sorry 20 to 22.3 degrees so, so this is the angle theta this is the theta that he uh, that we were asked about earlier that we were asked about earlier so this is 22.3 uh, the second part uh, is asking for the horizontal distance so for the sake of determining the the velocities here so when we have the box leaving the ramp and flying off uh, in that direction BB, we create this and we create this vector for the BB and uh, this uh, vertical distance was identified earlier to be uh, 1.2 cosine phi, remember, and this angle must be equal to phi because you can notice here the earlier angle that we had this was equal to phi and this is equal to phi as well so as this creates with this 90 degrees angle and this creates with this a 90 degrees angle uh, this must be equal to this and must be equal to this so the VBX here equals to VB cosine phi and VBY equal to VB sine phi. Okay. This is why. So for the x or for the for the distance, so the, the, the box falls down here to the to the cart that we had earlier here. And then you need to get, identify the distance S that we had here earlier. S of x equals to x naught plus v naught x t. In other words, this equals to 0 plus v v x times t. Uh, this equals to 2.95 cosine 42.29 or 30 t. And this equals to 2.18 t. So this is the x, but we don't have the time here. We don't have the time. So we need to refer to the equation of the y. The y equals to y naught plus v naught y times t minus half g t squared. Um, the y already was identified to be 1.2 cosine phi earlier when we solved the problem. Uh, but we we are going to substitute it as a my as a negative value because it is in the in the direction below the location of the of the of the launch of the box as it was falling down. So taking this say 1.2 cosine uh, 42.29 equals to zero, right? and we say the v naught plus v naught y equal to the v b y times t minus half times 9.81 t squared so for the v b y it is going down and the v b y equal v b times sine phi so this value equals to minus 0 0.8088 times minus because it is going down the direction of the velocity is down so then that's why I wrote here minus uh, 2.95 times sine 42.29 times t minus 4.905 t squared solving this um, this, this equation would give the time to be 0.268 seconds 
substituting this value here we give the x to be equal to 0.587 meters thank you for thank you for watching looking forward to meeting you again in the next tutorial